Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In the previous two videos, we have been talking about TF-IDF and BM25 algorithms which are used for information retrieval. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, when to use uh, TF-IDF or BM25 based on the use case. So we'll look at certain parameters and based on which we can decide if you want to go ahead with TF-IDF or BM25. So one such parameter is relevancy score. So one is uh, based on the way the document is scored using these techniques. Okay, for TF-IDF, it uses the term frequency, which is the number of times the word is appearing. And in BM25, uh, instead of just focusing on the number of times the word is appearing, it takes into account uh, the document length. Okay, if it is in a document of short document, it will provide a different uh, relevancy score and also how the importance is given to the word appearing repetitively if the word is appearing 200 times and how the word is appearing if the same word is appearing 400 times how the scoring should be done okay so it takes into account those parameters and those are some of the challenges bm25 overcomes with respect to tfidf and with respect to precision so TF-IDF is very helpful in small data sets which has uniform document length and it is also much more useful when you want to match uh, exact text for example keyword matching or document similarity and when it comes to BM25 uh, if you have a very large documents of varied kind of data quality or talking about varied kind of uh, topics okay then you can go ahead with uh, bm25 it is capable of handling robust nature of the text documents next is the document length okay so at tf idf the tf means term frequency meaning the term number of times the word is appearing and inverse document frequency is n by uh, what do you call the word appearing in d documents where D belongs to capital D, which is the total number of documents. Okay, so it doesn't take into account the document length. Okay, so that is one of the drawback of TF-IDF and which makes it to what give or provide a less accurate uh, ranking to the word appearing in a document. So this is overcome by BM25 by including normalization of the uh, term frequency based on the document length and which results in more accurate uh, ranking of a term okay or term or a document and also scenarios meaning like the score tf idf is quite simple and it is interpretable and when you want to do exact matches of document similarity then you can go ahead with tf idf but if you have very what large number of documents and large uh, document length for each document and each document talking about different topics then you can go ahead with bm25 and also yeah as i said for longer documents also you can use bm25 so i hope with this uh, table we can understand when to go ahead with bm25 over tf idf with this i'll conclude thank you so much